You'll love what you see inside. It's so bad. So bad. Oh, oh, that stinks. Oh, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's just, it's not nice. Oh, sh I think you might want to come and take a look at what we've found. Oh, mama. We try to help the homeless into the affordable housing. With the landlord's approval, four months ago, Prue gave a struggling young man a break and rented him a small flat. Today's scheduled inspection should be a great opportunity for the tenants to repay Prue. But one glimpse through the front door of the flat turns this fairy tale into a nightmare. This is vile. That makes me really angry. Does Prue look like a toilet? Because someone's just taken a great big dump all over her generosity. We gave him a chance. And this is where we're at. The room is reminiscent of that one in the movie Train Spotting, starring Euron McGregor. Lovely urine stoked duvet. It's lovely to know they honour the dwelling, isn't it? The tenants seem to have had an appetite for chips, cigarettes, and an appetite for destruction. We've got various items of underwear here. Do not breathe in, I'm telling you. But there are far greater hazards in this flat than just crispy Calvins. There's been some sort of in here. This is so going to court. Click property management owner Andrea is processing some rather bad news. A tenant has fallen into rent arrears and moved out. So my visit today is to check the house that I've been promised is in good condition. Andrea has had her trust violated before and hopes this isn't going to be one of those times. For us, if you present a property clean and tidy on entry, we expect a clean and tidy on exit. So, yeah, I'm hoping for the best. One thing Dunedinites go on and on about is their lovely fresh air that blows in from land, sea and mountain. But as Andrea leaves the invigorating outdoors... Oh, oh wow, Oof. that stinks. She is nasally assaulted by a stench from the seam of Satan's jockstrap. Oh, the smell is... <sighs> it's very warm at the moment, it's summer, and the doors and windows have been closed up. So the smell is very sweet, pongy um, sort of smell. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's just, it's not nice. Andrea can't quite put her finger on what that smell is or the direction it's coming from, but she is noticing a few fleas jumping onto her exposed skin. Oh, delightful. I don't know what that is, it's, but it's growing. As a property manager, Andrea knows the smell of sewage. She knows the smell of rancid food, and she certainly knows the smell of rotten carpet. But this is new. Oh. oh, it's nice to get that breeze, get some fresh air. That was not a pleasant experience with that smell in there. Leaving the smell and the fleas inside, In the shadows, Andrea notices a little fellow who clearly lives here. Where have you been? There is a cat flap in the front door and it's open. Could it be this cat is using the house as one giant litter box? We're heading up the coast this morning. We're going up to clear out some belongings that have been left behind by a tenant. They cleared everything out of the house and just failed to look in the shed. We need to find out whether um, it's something that we need to store or it's just something that can be disposed of. If a former tenant can't be located, property managers have the right to dispose of anything with no value or sell items of value to hold in trust for a period of time. So far, so suburban. The contents of the shed, indeed the shed itself, can be found in a thousand Kiwi backyards. So, barbecue, saw bench, heater, um, not expecting um, them to be claimed. Um, but yeah, these are the three suitcases that we've come up to, to really take away. Very seldom does anything good come out of a locked suitcase. Dismembered bodies, 
sometimes more locked suitcases. It's actually a fair bit of weight in these, I'd suspect. That means it's a lot of um, old books. All will be revealed back at the office. For some reason, the owner of the suitcases clearly didn't want them opened and has taken extreme measures to keep them secure. Well, yeah, they're double padlocked, so there's obviously something in here that's of value to the tenant. Oh, that is a lot of... I uh, can't say I've ever found a full suitcase of, uh, of adult DVDs before. Uh, this is a lot of for one person. He phones for backup. Thank goodness Mitchell is upstairs. I think you might want to come and take a, take a look at what we've found. Literally one second later, Mitchell arrives. Take a look at this. Ever seen a haul like this before? Do I need gloves? <laughs> you really got to wonder, eh? Um, do you think they're going to want to own up to this? Well, with a haul like that, you've really got to wonder. There's certainly some investment put into it. He's either come across the haul himself or he's obviously a collector. Long-time collector. The person who owns these bags clearly isn't just a collector. He, or maybe she, is a connoisseur and perhaps also very tired. Mitchell explains to Jared that all this and more can be found on the internet. And they move on, hoping the contents of bag number two will be a little more wholesome. Well, what do you think we do with this? A seemingly ordinary looking rental has been left reeking and grubby by a tenant who didn't pay her rent. Oh, master's bedroom, a dog. There is a suspicion this cat may be responsible for the horrendous smell and fleas. The cat flap on the front door has been left open. Oh, oh, that stinks. Oh. At her wit's end, Poor Andrea has only one option, Teagues. They don't just clean, they're odour identification experts. It smells like they've had animals in here. And maybe a bit of weed, maybe. The smell diagnosis is dog, with a side order of cat. Yeah, it's definitely a good eat. The smell has gone, but outrageously, the scabby old tabby has returned to the scene of his crime. I think it's funny, but it's pretty bad. Now that I'm a cleaner, <laughs> I don't think it's so funny. Whilst the girls have finished their jobs in record time, they're not pet minders. Unless the new tenants want to take on the cat, he'll be heading off to his new home at the SBCA shortly. Later in the week, Andrea is back for the final inspection. Oh my goodness, it smells so much better now that the cleaners have been in and the carpets have been cleaned. What a difference cleaners, pest eliminators and a gardener can make. Andrea is thrilled with his property, inside and out. So this property is now ready for the new tenants to move in tomorrow. So hopefully they will be happy in their new home. The Tenancy Tribunal awarded just under $3,500 to the out-of-pocket landlord. I just felt sullied in some way, just by the air itself. Good Girls property manager Prue is horrified to discover the kindness she and the landlord have shown toward a previously homeless tenant has been thrown back in their face. As you can see, I'm none too happy with these people and the way they've treated my owner's house. You only do this to me once, and we're done. Prue has called Grant from Testing Specialists Results Group to evaluate if drugs have been used or cooked here. So you're gonna do yes. tests? Yes. We've only got this one light left. All the rest have been yanked right out of the ceiling. Right. So the bulbs obviously were being used for yep. various uses. uses. While Grant gets to work testing for Prue ruminates over the general dysfunction of this household. Mm. Oh, lovely. 
Oh. oh. I just don't understand how anybody could live like this. Whoever did live like this isn't living like this in here anymore. The company will be in touch with me yes, they'll be in over touch. the next 48 hours. Yep. I really appreciate you coming right. and taking the time. Okay. Thanks so much, Grant. Thank you. You have a lovely evening. The rest of Prue's day is unlikely to be as cheerful as Grant's. She has now got to go and make a phone call to the landlord. I feel like I need to bathe in Dettol. I really do. It, just disgusting. We'll be taking him to tribunal for damage, subletting, which is theoretically what he's done. And, you know, certainly the cleaning has to be dealt with. Yeah. Despite Prue's best efforts, this young man has recently picked the locks and moved back in to party with his friends. So we're going to get in there and uh, change the locks. They could still be nine eyes after a night on the rant and in the I understand they had quite a knees up over the last couple of days. The tests have come back positive for use, but not cooking. Nonetheless, Prue has arranged to meet Christchurch's finest at the address, just in case. You'll love what you see inside. There's a lot of paraphernalia, which you would never have seen before. Luckily, the squatters are not in residence, but there is evidence of some unholy decadence. Oh, it's so bad. So bad. The living room is littered with evidence of social decay. Cigarettes, booze, and cold hot chips. There's a lot of gear, it's going to be dumped. A lot of stuff has already been dumped. Oh, she's banded here. Whatever Prue does now, she should not go into the toy. Oh. Too late. Oh, the shit on the toilet roll. Jesus, she's rank. Yeah, a lot of Water rates off the scale for bad smells. Oh. oh. Oh, I've got to get out. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. This is the tribunal order giving us the property back. It's fair to say that these tenants have had their last, 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 last chance. Their next last chance might actually be their last chance, or close to it. But Prue is going to have the last laugh. She signed off on some weapons grade lockery to keep the squatters out. I couldn't tolerate another second of the stench in there. It really was. I thought that we were going to find bodies. There's urine in the duvets. There's, it's just vile, just horrid. Can't even wipe their ass properly. I mean, please. So we'll pull it all apart and then we'll begin again few days to a week and we should have it up and running. One week later, as promised, the flat is finished and Prue has been instructed to inspect to her heart's content. Oh, well, it's certainly uh, looking a bit better in here. Light bulbs intact. Oh, yes. Living room decluttered. I think it's looking miles better. And a bathroom devoid of faecal stains. I just cannot believe it is good. It's really good. And as for the kitchen, fresh and fumigated. Now this is different. Well, we did have the penicillin bread rolls that were on special, and they were deep in the smut. Ugh, last time I was here. Best of all, the place smells of nothing but success and victory for the good girls. I think they've done a terrific job. In the basement of Trust Property Management, an uncomfortable scenario is playing out. Property managers Jared and Mitchell are being forced to examine a suitcase of erotic material together. They're hoping the first was a one-off. Well, who would have thought? Mama. <laughs> I'm just glad they got the expanding suitcase because they wouldn't have been able to fit in it otherwise. Surely suitcase number three contains something a little less X-rated. 
Nobody has this much stamina. What do you reckon the code's going to be? Based on the horse so far, I'm guessing 69-69. Oh, we got it. Oh, mama. We are going old school. VHS. VHS, <laughs> there we go. This collector has clearly been collecting for a very long time. Full suitcase of is very heavy. <laughs> Think we were glad to have it back. It's certainly something I don't want sitting around the workshop for too long. So let's see if he wants to come pick it up after we've stored it for him. Two weeks and two days later, there's a knock at the door of Trust Property Management. Hey, so we've had your stuff in storage downstairs. Great that you've come in to pick it up. We'll go downstairs, you can grab it, take it away, and you can go enjoy yourself. Amazingly, the owner of the suitcases has turned up to collect them. So we've had the guy come and grab his stuff. He was pretty happy that we'd stored it for the allotted amount of time. We didn't have to work out market value of his goods as he really wanted his goods back. So he's come, he's grabbed it, it's all safe and dry. He's taken it, didn't want to stick around, and we're done and we're dusted. <laughs>